seeing more or the coloring is different, it's because I am on my actual vlogging camera. Um, normally I shoot with my Canon Rebel T3i and I'm shooting with my Canon G7X if anybody cares. Just because it is an autofocus and I really want to show you guys the details of the chokers I'm going to show you. So that's why it might look a little different. But um, I'm super excited about today's video because I get asked so many questions. My favorite, favorite, favorite trend Hands down, partially thanks to Britney Spears bringing it back, is the choker. I am a sucker for a good choker. And finding the right kind of chokers is very hard. Finding chokers that are, I don't know, I just go through so many different chokers because there is, like, okay, everybody wants a black choker, but there's different styles of black choker, and like, where do you get them? Well, the ones I'm gonna show you are extremely, extremely cheap. I got them all from cmedress.com. I will link them all below, which is the exact ones I have. Um, they do go really, really fast. If you guys aren't familiar with cmedress.com, they get new stuff in every single day, and their inventory goes extremely fast. So if you see anything you really, really want, especially their chokers and their necklaces in general, um, I think I talked about this before, but there was this girl who had this blue Heart of the Ocean necklace, or it looked like the Heart of the Ocean necklace from Titanic. It was like just a blue heart necklace, and it was so gorgeous, and I saw it, and like two days later, I went to go look for it, and it was already sold out. So they just go extremely fast. So if there's something that you need to must have on you, um, get them like right away. And like I said, they're like literally like a dollar. They're so, so cheap and um, affordable, which I really, really love. And so I'm gonna show you guys a little collection, but before I do, I wanted to share this mug that I also got at Sandwich Dress. I'm gonna be doing a whole Halloween video with them, um, costumes and Halloween finds, but uh, I have to just give a shout out because I have been using this. I got this for the Halloween video, but it's been my new favorite mug for the month of October. And I just love, love, love how it looks. And now that I have my one that I can easily zoom in, I'll show you guys the detail. It's just a skull and it has a skull handle, which I really, really like. I think it's really, really cool. So. Um, that's been the mug I've been sipping out of morning, noon, and night. Mm. Thank you guys for all the well wishes too on um, my surgery and recovery. Um, I am feeling actually really great. I still got stitches in, but I feel great. So <laughs> I guess that's the most important, right? Okay, so let's get into this. The first being my Halloween choker, which I am so obsessed with, so obviously for October. Um, I love stuff like this because it's not so over the top Halloween, but it's like, you know, still Halloween. Obviously, you're getting the theme of it. Let me just zoom on in here. Okay, here we go. I'm like squatting in front of you guys. Um, yeah, so it has the orange jewel, the little tri-orange jewel. And then it has these two little skulls and a little spider. By the way, this is all very lightweight, not too heavy on my neck. And then the actual choker part is kind of like a little bit of a double lace with the star print. And um, really, really easy to put on and off. It is just a buckle closure. This is what the closure looks like. It is a fastened closure. And it has quite a few different lengths, so any size neck. I do have a rather thick neck, so I do put mine on towards the end. But it's not at the complete end, so if you have a thicker neck than me, it has about this much left. Then, of course, if you have a smaller neck, it goes and fits that as well. So I really love this choker. Okay, so these two chokers are pretty similar and I'll try both of them on for you in just a second. I just wanna show you guys the closure and the main difference between these two side by side. So this one is more of a wet leather looking finish on the actual choker part. And the actual jewel in the center is a touch smaller giving a more dainty look. The clasps are the same as the Halloween one and again, have multiple sizes. So it'll fit pretty much any neck size comfortably. And then the one that's very similar, but it gives a very, very different look is this sort of velvet finish choker. Again, it does have the little jewel, but it's a little bit of a larger jewel. So those are the main differences between these two. So as you can see from far away, they're very, very, they're both very dainty. And they're very just a single choker. It's very princessy, very Cinderella-esque if you will. Um, like I said, the main difference is if you get up close. This is the velvet one with the larger jewel, and I find that this one tends to go with more variety of outfits, so if you are being edgy, this one's perfect. If you want to be a little more elegant or a little more girly, this one goes as well with any color. I'm wearing black, of course, and black chokers go great with black, but they always don't always go with all the colors. This one definitely does. If you get a pink dress or a white dress, this would also go as well. It just gives multiple looks. It can give a Madonna look if you're wearing like a white dress, a pink look, it still can be very girly, which is why 
I like the velvet one, but I like this leather one for a different reason, and I'm gonna try this one on for you right now. Okay, so from far away, the really only noticeable difference is that it is a smaller gem. Like I said, it kind of gives that same sort of Cinderella look. Now, of course, if you're gonna be up close in the nitty gritty, it is more of this leather feel. And you can wear chokers a variety of ways. I actually put this a little tighter than I normally would these particular types of choker because I like the effect that it does give that it's like sort of a choking me sort of thing and that's actually how chokers originated i don't know if you want me to get in the whole backstory of chokers but it is and it is originated from a sexual place like from choking you know like people who like that appeal like that there's something tight around their neck this asphyxiation of it and then for a visual for a guy or a girl whoever it's the same sort of thing it's that visual of there's something around the neck asphyxiation hanging that kind of stuff. I don't want to get like too crazy into it. It's not like death or anything, but that's where a lot of it came from. But a lot of girls like it because it does accentuate a neck a little more. I think it gives a little pop to a regular outfit. And these are no exception. Something so simple and understated can really change your entire outfit. So I love this one as well. These two are ones that I alternate quite often on the daily and I think they are so, so fetch. Okay, so these next two are probably the most unique. I love this one because it has jewels that um, do this AB pattern with this sort of like crisscross flower thing and I think it looks really beautiful on the neck. Again, it's not that black so it kind of goes with everything. You can wear this casual or dressy which I really, really love about it and it is a great fit. The clasp of this one is the same, it's just a little bit smaller, but this is more secure with these two little like bookend things right here. Now I love this necklace alone, I think it's really, really beautiful, however, I've been wearing it a lot with this little bolero bow tie one, um, which I'm wearing black, so it's kind of like blending in, but this tie is so beautiful, I love this choker so, so much. Um, a lot of people have been wearing this. You can tie this, you know, just so it's a choker and it hangs right there. Or you can put the actual tie down for like, you know, just two strings hanging, which Kim Kardashian wears a lot. So I think this is really, really beautiful as well. Like I said, this is really, really cute solo, which would be just there. And then you look like a little present. Um, and then this is this one solo, but I'm gonna show you actually doubling because I think doubling these up look the best. And then there's just that one solo, which is really, again, just elegant. You could wear it for like homecoming or formal um, or part of like a costume. It could be costume jewelry, but or you can wear this on the daily, which I think is awesome too. Oh, hey, neighbor literally just waved in and have no idea who that person is. Like, hey, neighbor. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna actually put both of these on and show you, but I love them both together. I think like stacking chokers are really hot too because I think it gives a sort of like new twist on the choker, if you will. So this is the Bolero tie on its own, which I think gives it sort of like a ribbon, like I said, a little bit of a present look, a little bit of a bunny look, and I think it's super cute. This is layering both of them together. It gives a nice little contrast with the black and the diamond, just to give it a little extra pop. I think this makes it look a lot more dressed up, and it just gives a little bit, like I said, contrast, a little more definition to the two, and I think it looks so cute. And like I said, this does untie, so you feel free to untie it if you wish to give it that sort of bolero tie look. Then you can just have it with like the strings hanging down. Which I like too. It's just two different looks. And you can tie it in any bow you want. This is actually so funny. I was watching someone's Snapchat. I want to say, oh, I can't remember who it was. Someone's Snapchat where they literally took the little like hanger part of a dress and made it into a choker and the little choker part kept like peeking out. So they just moved it to the front, but I'm like, that's totally a style. That's totally a style now. <laughs> okay, this next one is definitely the dominatrix, more sexual feel to it. Um, this is more commonly known as an O-ring sex choker. Um, I have so many of these. I have ones that dangle, but I like the one in the center the best. Again, I have this on the second one. I'm gonna take it off and show you how it's actually fastened. It's a lot different than the other ones, but it's actually on the second button. There's three buttons, and it's actually on the second. I do like it a little tighter, so it can show that it is squeezing, choking you, if you know what I mean. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna do an up close of this. So this is a really thick leather strap. It is an amazing quality leather strap with some uh, material inside to not cause too much burnage or rubbage, although that is the idea of a O-ring sex choker. 
You can dangle anything you would like off of here. If you would like another little circle thing, you can just get an attachment. You can dangle like a keychain, a charm, whatever you would like, a ribbon, or you can just leave it as the O-ring, which I personally like the best. Um, it does have two little silver studs on each side to go and complement the O-ring. And now it is fastened really simply with the button. And it's super, super easy. Of all the chokers, this is the easiest to put on. You just literally take it back and I'm going to do it on this one. Snap. So there it is with a little bit of a looser feel because that's on the first one. But I am so beyond obsessed with this choker and again this has been the most affordable I can find because of the novelty of this choker. Um, I've seen this range in prices from anywhere from $20 which my dangle o-rings are to like over I don't know I've seen one for like $150 because they can be heavier just depending on the metal too. This one is lighter weight which I again personally prefer as opposed to something really heavy but you can dangle whatever you want off of there or like I said just kind of wear it as is and this definitely gives you a vixen seductress vibe. Just need a whip and you got your outfit complete. Again if you're going to be like a naughty kitty or a naughty something for Halloween you need the naughty O-ring sex choker. This is the best seller choker I've seen. So many people sport this choker look and it is kind of basic, but it does have the starburst pattern all the way around. It is a fasten like the other chokers. And to me, this one stands out the most from far away and up close. You see it, it looks like just your basic choker, but it does have that pattern, that starburst pattern that gives it a lot of a different, a lot of a different. <laughs> It gives it a very different look. Like it gives it a very like, again, updated look. Um, chokers obviously are from the 90s and that is what it's known for. So it's gonna give you a 90s vibe no matter what. But I really, really do like that far away. You can see that it's something. It gives it, like I said, just sort of a dimension, I suppose you could say. Now, with this choker, this is the one that I feel like will fit. Literally, if you have, if you think you have the fattest neck in the world and no choker will ever fit you, this one will fit every single size. So as you can see, this fastens like all the other ones, but this fastener is quite longer than the rest. So this will definitely fit all size necks. All right guys, so that is going to do it for this little lookbook try and haul slash my favorite things I have been loving. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys are having a great October. Um, I, I can't go on any hay rides or anything because I still got stitches in my boobs, but <sighs> What are some fun Halloween ideas that I could do that I can still have fun and that doesn't require me bouncing around? Because <laughs> I need all the help I can get. Also, costume ideas. What are you guys going to be? Like I said, I have some that I'm actually going to show you, but I would love to hear your guys' suggestions on what you guys are going to be. Um, I am absolutely obsessed with all these chokers. I know I just kind of like totally changed the subject real quick, but I love all these chokers, and if you do too, I will link them all below. Um, they are all from sandwichdress.com. They have so many chokers, like literally hundreds of chokers to choose from. These are just my personal favorite, my personal picks. Um, but yeah. They're happy for all year round. Like I said, Britney Spears was wearing them in the summer and rocking them. And I was just like, yeah, so Britney's doing it. I'm doing it. And excuse my paleness. I haven't been able to spray tan, but you know what? I'm embracing the light side, the bright side, the pale side. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, who shall I say hi to today? I will say hi to... Who should I say hi to? Why is this always so hard? I was thinking of someone earlier today when I was watching TV. I will say hi to, oh, I know, <laughs> I'll probably leave all that in there because it just like totally hit me, Brian Cranston, hi to Brian Cranston, I love him on Jimmy Kimmel when they did Brian Cranston's 60th, if you haven't seen it, go check it out, it's amazing, okay, hi to Brian Cranston in here, my kissies, or my little baby fishies, mm -hmm. <laughs> bye guys.